Hi there, Cancer. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If the reading resonates, that's great. But if it doesn't, please do not try to make it fit your story. Also, I like to make a note that if you do subscribe, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. Okay, Cancer? So good vibes for Cancer. Let's get a good shuffle. Cancer. All right. Can I get a card for Cancer's person, please? Cancer's person. Cancer's person, the seven of pentacles. Okay, can I get a card for Cancer? Cancer. The Fool, okay. Interesting, can I get a card for Cancer's person? The Five of Swords, okay. Can I get a card for Cancer? Death. I'm going to take that card. Death. Let's clarify. Let's clarify. Can I get a card for your person, please? It's a page of pentacles, okay? Can I get a card for... Wow, ten of swords with the five of pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Shared mutual feelings. My mind is already um, wanting to clarify. <laughs> okay, wow. The shared mutual is a queen of swords in reverse with a queen of pentacles in reverse. Uh, right off the bat, your person got the seven of pentacles. So they're really missing you. They're feeling nostalgic. Um, they could possibly be thinking about the memories here. Um, they seem to be uh, conflicted with the five of swords. So this could be talking about internal conflict or even external, right? But uh, with the Page of Pentacles, uh, your person's um, wanting to make you an offer, but it's coming in slowly, okay? Um, so this is a one of the slowest cards in the deck. And it's usually someone trying to be very methodical, and they're trying to think things through here, okay? With the Page of Pentacles. So you're dealing with somewhat of a slowpoke, <laughs> okay? With the Page of Pentacles. But there is conflict here. But when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. You, however, got the full card. So it's like you're ready to embark on a brand new beginning. And you could be excited to do so with the full card. And then you've got death here, which is talking about an ending. We're in a possible transformation. But this is Scorpio energy. The full card is an Aquarius. Um, I see Earth and possibly air. But with the Ten of Swords, I feel like, um, and the Five of Pentacles, you could have uh, been left out in the cold and it could have caused you a lot of pain with the Ten of Swords, right? But it's nearing completion. So you're not going to be stuck in that state for long, okay? Um, because the Ten of Swords is showing up in the upright. And also Tens talks about endings as well. Now, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, um, this Queen of Swords in reverse keeps popping out for most of the Cancer readings. But I feel like... I don't... I have to clarify this because I really don't see this as being a manipulation or someone's being manipulative. Although your person does have the Five of Swords here. So take it as is. But... Um, I see uh, an energy here of being less defensive. And with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, no offer has been made here of commitment, okay? Or it's hard nurturing this connection, okay? Um, let me clarify, because that way it'll make more sense. Because it's quite interesting with the Queen of Swords in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You could have taken your energy away or taken your energy back somehow. So less effort placed into this connection or, you know, you know, because you you come across as being a very loving and nurturing energy, right? But I don't think you're um, putting that effort into this connection, given the fact that you got death and the fool, right? So that could be it. But let's clarify the seven of pentacles here. 
for your person's energy. Okay, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. Come on. The Seven of Pentacles. The Queen of Cups. So they are missing your love here. Okay, so you... <laughs> okay, so you did take your energy back, okay? You were very loving, very nurturing, but with the Queen of Pentacles showing up in reverse and the Queen of Swords showing up in reverse, you've taken that energy away and that you, now your person's missing it, okay? So they're looking, they're seeing you as, this is your card, right? Queen of Cups, someone that's very loving, and very nurturing. Oh boy. So they're missing that. They're missing your love here. Let's clarify the Fool card. On your side so you're ready to embark on a brand new beginning here and there you go so i don't know if you're in a new relationship but with the lover's card here but that's what it seems like or like you're ready to embark on a brand new beginning when it comes to matters of the heart you could have a new love interest okay with the lover's card let's clarify the five of swords You could be dealing with a Gemini. That doesn't necessarily have to be. Let's clarify the Five of Swords. The Empress in Reverse. Yeah, you did take your energy away. So you, the Empress card is a very loving and nurturing energy, right? And it's showing up in reverse next to the Five of Swords. So now your person's feeling very conflicted. And I feel like it's internal conflict here. Um... internal conflict with the empress card in reverse and the five of swords let's clarify death on your side there you go so you could be putting yourself into work here with the three of pentacles Tired of working things out with this person, like not what there you go, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, so, you are, um, so this is talking about a potential new love interest with the Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. So, you've taken your energy away from this person and put it somewhere else, possibly into work, possibly even into yourself, or possibly into a new love interest. Interesting. <laughs> Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Okay, let's try that again. Let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords in reverse. So they're not really walking away here. Okay. Um, with the Seven of Swords in reverse. And the Ace of Swords in Reverse. Hmm. So they are taking their time here. Okay, with the Ace of Swords in Reverse. They're not possibly communicating. Um, so there could be no communication with the Ace of Swords in Reverse. I feel like your person's taking their time here. Because they're trying to think things through. And they're being very methodical. Um, and it's possible that they lack clarity here. So it seems like they do have internal conflict with the Five of Swords here. Ten of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. The Hermit in Reverse. Okay, so you've done a lot of introspective thinking here, and I think you're coming out of that. That's why it seems like you're ready to embark on something brand new. Um, so if you, you, you've, you've realized that it's time to get over whatever it is that you've been feeling, like if you've been left out in the cold and it caused you a lot of pain, I see that that you're realizing that it, it just seems like you have to let go of the pain here with the Ten of Swords. Like I said, it's nearing completion. Uh, let's clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse for the Shared Mutual. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, so you are open to a new relationship with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Swords in reverse. This is interesting. So you maybe you could have had your guard up um, in regards to uh, 
but it seems like now you're a lot more open and now it's the nine of pentacles in reverse so this if you were if it was a nine of pentacles and the upright is talking about singlehood focusing on your it just seems like now you're open to possibly a new relationship here let's clarify the queen of pentacles in reverse the tower so you have been hit with a tower moment of realization here it could even be your person as well but this is talking about major changes or being ready for major changes um this is talking about a shake-up as well or maybe your person realizes you know like wow the, uh, you have taken your energy away and now they're really missing that love right so yeah it's hard for them to walk away so they got the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Cups in reverse. So it's hard for them to walk away from that, right? Um, so let's keep clarifying. So let me know in the comments if you're dealing with anybody new. Because that's what it seems like. <laughs> I really do consider your person a slowpoke uh, with a page of pentacles. It just seems like that's the case. You could be dealing with someone that works slow or doesn't. I don't know. <laughs> Let's clarify the seven of pentacles with the queen of cups. There you go. The queen of swords. All right. Yeah. So it. I feel like you did speak your truth okay uh you are very honest with the queen of swords they're missing your honesty your integrity and your loving nature yeah like i said i wasn't picking up on manipulative energy with the queen of swords in reverse here it was something else it was related to being because specifically with this queen of swords if it was in the upright it's talking about someone having their guard up okay or being somewhat defensive here but no, they do miss your integrity, your honesty, your truthfulness, your loving nature. Wow. The fool, the lovers. Let's clarify the fool and the lovers. Ah, that's you, the tower. So you've gone through some sort of tower moment of realization. You're ready for changes with the tower card showing up twice wow oh gosh you may be even in the process of a transformation a major transformation with death and the tower five of swords with the empress in reverse the chariot in reverse yeah they're not really uh, they're not moving fast with the chariot in reverse they're they have internal conflict here with the five of swords so you really are dealing with a slowpoke here with the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> it seems like a very obvious energy. But let's clarify the Three of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're done waiting. King of Cups, here you go. I see that. Ah, you could be dealing with the King of Cups. Oh my gosh, you could be dealing with a water sign now. Like the, this is, or this is someone that has a lot of love for you with the King of Cups. So I see that, sorry, I'm getting really excited. So you're done waiting with the three of wands in reverse. I see the queen of pentacles with the king of cups. A, a lot, this could be a, a, a lot more nurturing connection that you're dealing with now. Nurturing, loving connection. Interesting. I love it. Okay, let's clarify the seven of swords in reverse or the ace of swords in reverse. But my God, it's not over for your person. They got death in reverse. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. <sighs> okay, well, it's not over for your person with death in reverse. It's eight of cups in reverse. and But you got death in the upright. So. Oh, well, right? If that's the case, but you still have to take care of yourself here, right? Like, and you don't want to fester in that pain, right? The Hermit in reverse with the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I do see you. And there we go. <laughs> uh, Cancer, Ace of Wands, you are embarking on a passionate new beginning here. 
This reading is making me happy uh, because I like this sort of energy, especially on your side. Uh, this is a very clear reading, um, Cancer. So you have possibly a potential new love interest here, someone that loves you, okay? A new loving connection. But let's clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. There we go, the Magician. So you did manifest this, this, this brand new uh, connection um, with the Magician. Wow, it's like you're, you're, the, all the efforts or that, that, you know, you really have been focusing on manifestation. And I think you've, you've hit it right on the head or this is a really positive reading. I love it. That's amazing. Let's clarify the eight of cups in reverse with the tower. Oh, look at that, the Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, your person's feeling restless. Okay. Um, yeah, they are feeling restless here. But I feel like it's also your energy not being stagnant as well, like moving forward or just, you know, you're done waiting. I think you've been very patient here. But yeah, your person's really feeling like conflicted, restless, really missing... Um, your energy here with the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Pentacles. But I really like your energy here. Uh, you're really uh, on the right on the mark here in regards to your manifestations with the Magician card. Definitely, I did not pick up on manipulative energy because it seemed like something else. I think that I picked it up in your being your energy here with the, the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And now the magician is in the upright. So if it was a magician in reverse, then it could be something else, but it's in the upright. So that's telling me that you manifest. So you've been a lot more open um, in regards to experiencing possibly a new connection. Awesome. Okay, so that's my reading for you today. Uh, Cancer, I hope you got better insight into the situation and I'll see you next time. Take care now.